Welcome to Cracket YouTube channel. Today we are going to discuss about what is hash code and equals method in Java. What is the contract between two? This is a very oftenly asked interview questions in Java. Let's start the discussion. So where is this hash code and equals method present? This hash code and the equals method is present in java.lang.object class. Why do we need equals method? If suppose we have a situation wherein we have to compare the equality of the two objects. So in that case, we need an equals method. So as per code, what is this equals method doing? Equals method compares the reference of the current object with the object that is being called. So in general, it simply checks the references of the two objects by default. In general, we will say that two objects are equal if and only if they refer to the same memory location. But most of the Java classes override this logic to provide their own comparison. Now, what is hash code method? So this hash code will return an unique integer value for the object at every time. This integer value is derived from the memory address of the object in the heap by default, but this is not mandatory. Why this native is present here in this method of the Java code? It is because there is no direct method in Java to fetch the reference of this object. That is why this is represented as native. Where do we use, use this hash code? We will use this hash code for determining the index location when this object needs to be stored in the data structures like hash table, hash map, hash set, and few others. Now comes the interesting part of the question. What is the contract between the hash code and the equals method? In Java, two objects are said to be equal only if they have the same hash codes. This is the general contract. So if you're going to override the equals method, then we need to override the hash code method as well. So if a hash code method is invoked more than once, on the same object, then it must consistently return the same integer value provided no information on the object is changed. It is not necessary that the hash code value written on every execution of the program should be same. But in the same execution of the program, it should return the same value in all the places it is called. If two objects are equal, then the hash code method will produce the same integer for those two objects. If two objects are not e equal, then it is not necessary that the hash code of the two objects should be different. It can be same, but producing the distinct value will be very helpful to improve the performance of the hashing based algorithms like hash map, hash table, etc. We can see all these situations using an example. Let's see this with an example. I have created a class called Cracket wherein I have two data members, ID and playlist. I've created the setters and getters for the same. I'm not overriding the equals or the hash code method. And in my main class, I've created two objects, Cracket and Cracket1 with the same value for, the, for its data members. So ideally, I will be expecting that these two, Cracket and Cracket1 will return true to me, this equals method. Let's see what happens now. On executing the program, we can see that this equals method is returning false. Why is it returning false? This equals method is coming from this Java class equals method. This default implementation of the equals will check just the reference. So it will check the reference of crack it and crack it one. Those two are different. So this is returning me false. I'll now just overwrite the equals method and not the hash code method for now and let's see what is happening to this program. So on executing the program, I can see that these two objects have two different hash codes, but this method returns true, meaning crack it and crack it one or equals. But is it enough if I override only the equals method and not the hash code method? Is this valid? Let's see by adding it to a set. What is a set? Set will not allow duplicate elements. So if I add these two elements, crack it and crack it one to this set, ideally it should the set should allow us to add this element only once. 
Why? Because set will not allow duplicates. As per this line of code, crack it and crack it one or same. So we added it to a set and now we are checking its size. Its size is 2. Why its size is 2? Because we didn't overwrite the hash code method. So as per the contract, if we are overriding the equals method, we need to override the hash code method as well. So now we have overridden both the equals and the hash code method. Let's see what this program gives now. So now we can see that both the objects crack it and crack it one has same hash code and this equals method is now returning true and the size of this set have become one meaning it have added only once. Thanks for watching Crack It. Please do like, share and subscribe.